What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Rat's Den. This is System Wave, and today we're playing D2 Resurrected. So my last video was the one about launch day, and they've pretty much ironed out a lot of the server issues. Uh, so it's, it feels more like a normal game. But we're good, we're here now, and we have our character in front of us. So <clears throat> I'm obviously working with the Paladin here. I'm in Nightmare, level 48. And, you know, I'm not going to be one of those that are mega pro that have parties of eight and already doing bail uber runs and all that stuff. But just uh, kind of soloing on Xbox Series S and it doesn't seem like the population on console is high for this game, which is kind of disappointing. Although I've spent the majority of my time playing uh, solo online. But with that said, I just wanted to kind of show you my build, see what we're working with and give you my experience so far with the uh, console version. Let's check it out. Jump into Nightmare real quick. So the loading times, I feel like they're actually significantly noticeable compared to the beta. I feel like they're faster and that's a great thing. And also I've gotten used to it as well. So it's not that bad of a detriment so long as you kind of plan out your strategy going into your portals uh, when you're getting back into battle. But all in all, Series S and VME SSDs are awesome. Um, kind of a must for this game. As you can see, my uh, pallet, my mercenary is dead. I haven't been resurrecting him for a little while. He just dies too often. Uh, and it's mostly because I got crappy gear, but let's check it out. Open up my inventory. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of crappy charms. Uh, you know, some of them have good life. And some of them have low life. But I use uh, kind of hit recovery for this build. Uh, for my smiter yeah. and it's just kind of I've gone through the game and whatever I randomly run into that I find useful I keep um, I haven't found a whole lot but you know I'm, I'm getting by I'm surprisingly haven't had too many deaths and I'm in nightmare act four and that's I think that's a pretty good start for for having one week without any parties or anything like that <clears throat> uh, I'm rocking Saigons <laughs> it's so funny I'm rocking Saigons uh, I've only got two-piece Saigons, and I have the two-piece because I want the extra defense for the belt. And that adds on to my Holy Shield. Otherwise, I'd probably try to use something else, like Magic Vine or something like that. But this has attack rating and life stolen for hit, so that's pretty good. I've got this shield here. It's just a random rare with high defense. Um, again, I use that because there's a percentage added for Holy Shield. And... Um, it bumps up my defense. If you look at my defense now, it's only 640. But if I use Holy Shield, my defense gets this 1856, right? So that's a big portion of why I'm using these items. <clears throat> it's early. I don't have a lot of great items. I don't have a spirit yet, and I haven't found a good spirit shield to put a spirit in. So for now, I'm just going to try to shoot for high defense. Uh, and this is a big contributor of it. I do enjoy the increased chance of blocking, that's pretty cool. There's a little bit of cold res on there. But all in all, it's an okay shield. I'm using a, <laughs> a, a magic fine amulet because for the life of me, I can't find any amis. It's just, it's ridiculous right now. The drops are kind of crazy. I've got a life per hit ring with some mana and life and some resistances. I've got another life per hit with mana. And I'm using Sanders, of course, with the IAS on there. Fortunately, I did manage to find a spirit, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a low one, and I'm just using it for the plus skills and the, the mana and vitality. But all in all, it's not too bad. And then I'm rocking this coronet here. It was more for the defense and the life. Again, it's... You know, I haven't found a Guillaume's, I haven't, you know, I've, for the life of me, I could not find a soul rune to even have lore. Uh, so I'm just waiting to get a lore rune, I mean a, a lore helmet, and I'll be on my way. <clears throat> on Switch, I have a Malice. I was using that on the earlier levels. Uh, it's actually a pretty good weapon, even in Hell, I would say it's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, and I'm... Paired that with a Steel Clash. 
I enjoy the Wanda Paladin skills, and I'd use that on Switch. However, it, the defense is lower, so I, I tend to need more defense in Nightmare rather than anything else. As that's a 51 defense compared to 256. So yeah, that's pretty much my build, and it, let's... I can give you an example of the enemies. Let's see what we do here. I just need one enemy. I don't want to go all out right now. One enemy, one enemy. Yeah, so it's not too bad, right? You would think. You would think that it wouldn't be a, uh, a damage dealing uh, character, but it is actually. <clears throat> so obviously it's a smiter, so let's show you the skills. Right now I've got a few into Defiance. I've spec'd a few just because of the, the bonus that it gives to Holy Shield. Just for a little bit of extra survivability. Uh, I've got everything going up to Fanaticism and I'm trying to max this out. I think I'm one more away from max. Uh, of course I've maxed out Smite and just the necessaries to get to Holy Shield. Um, this would... usually I like to have Holy Shield first, but for some reason it just worked out to the point where you know, I'm, I'm going with offense first to, to kill faster, right? And that's pretty much it for now as far as the build goal goes. It's the last of me and I'm 48, right? For level 48. I've got a couple of stats to assign. It's going okay. I'm, I'm trying to get to this point and I'm trying to to uh, get some bail runs in hell, I mean in Nightmare, if possible, but still waiting for my uh, nephew to get back online, because he's probably my main uh, partner in this game. Uh, my experience so far, it's it's been good. I've gotten used to the controller. Um, I still don't like some of the things like navigating uh, in your inventory. Sometimes there might be, uh, like you want to quickly move a re rejuvenation potion to your belt and that doesn't always auto assign which sucks um mostly they're just inventory gripes i i, I again i would if the game if the console version had mouse and keyboard it'd probably be it'd probably be perfect um but that's that along with finding the games <clears throat> I don't feel, again, there's a very big disconnect. If we take a look at the menu here. When we play online and we're trying to play with groups, I often try to find through the quests what one, which mission I'm working on, right? Which quest I'm working on. And often when I go to, to join or try to join, it just ends up creating my own game. So I've had very, very um, few few experiences playing with someone else and honestly when I do create those sessions no one is in the middle of playing anyway so I don't know maybe it's uh again I, I feel like the the channels are a big element to Diablo uh, we do need that on console as well uh, again that's another mouse and keyboard feature um, it's already in the game. It's already written to the PC component of the game, so all they need to do is revert that over into console. These little mini powerful PCs, basically, and uh, the experience will be the same. Uh, you're just, you know, it just depends on where you want to play it at, right? You want to play it on Xbox or you want to play it on a PC or you want to play it on PlayStation or Switch, something like that, right? But uh, I, I feel like the we need the rooms, we need the the chat screen we need to be able to select where we're going to play because even things like trades if i i can go to bosses but not everyone might not be on that boss right or i can go to zones and and not everyone might be on those zones i've even tried again joining these and i've found very few games on my end I mean, we could do PvP, but, you know, I'm just, I'm not there yet, right? I'm not at PvP, so it's been a little difficult as far as finding games are concerned. I think that's more important rather than adding mouse and keyboard, but to that effect, you know, to title your channels, to title your rooms and games and all that stuff, that requires a keyboard, right? So again, this game is not a 10. 
It's more like a seven at this point because that feature alone adds so much value to the game. Yeah, but with that said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build, and I'm going to continue to play and glute as much as I can. We'll see you in the next video.